Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn about how to create .NET Core based MQTT clients and in addition to that we will also see how to achieve the PubSub communication by running two clients simultaneously. In case of MQTT communication, the clients communicate with each other via a broker. So in this case, neither of the clients are aware of the other one. They only know the broker and it is the broker which is responsible for the successful transmission of messages between the clients. In this case, we will use publicly hosted Mosquito Broker which is available to be used for such purposes. The server details of the broker are visible on screen. For our use case, we are going to create two simple clients. One of which will publish the message on a topic and the other one will subscribe to the same topic in order to receive the messages. As we can see, the broker is listening on port 1883 in an unencrypted and unauthenticated manner, which is good enough for our use case as we will see those topics in the coming videos. So let us start. We will begin with creating a console application and we'll call it MQTT Publisher. Now that we have this basic console application ready, we will rename the class name to Publisher. Now in order to create a MQTT client, we will have to use a NuGet package called MQTT net. So let us begin with installing the MQTT net. As we can see MQTT net is a high performance .NET library for MQTT based communication. It provides a MQTT client and a MQTT server or a broker. And it supports the following versions of the MQTT protocol. So we'll begin with the installation. We only need to create MQTT based clients and we will not be creating a server as we will be using a publicly hosted server for our use case. So now that MQTT net package has been added in our project, we will first remove this line, begin with creating an MQTT factory. After creating the MQTT factory, we'll have to create a client. In order to create a client, we need to use the MQTT factory. Now that we have created an MQTT client, we need to create the options. We need to set, set up the options which the client will use in order to connect to the broker. For this, we need to build the MQTT Client Options Builder. At the end, we need to build. But before building this, we'll have to specify the client ID. For the client ID, we will use a GUID. In order to specify the server details, since we will be establishing a TCP connection using the MQTT protocol, we will give the same details. And we will also specify to have a clean session. Now that we have the options ready, we will specify a few event handlers. When the client gets connected, this particular event will be triggered. We can simply print a message whenever the client gets connected.
similarly in case of disconnection as well we will print a simple message now we will try to establish the connection in order to use the async await we'll have to change the method to async task so once the connection is established with the broker we will try to publish some message So in order to create this new method, control dot, it will generate the new method automatically. Going inside, let's first define the message payload. Which will be a simple message called hello. Now in order to build the message, we need to specify it. Need to use the MQTT application message builder. We need to build it. Before building, we need to specify a few important things like the topic to which the message will be published. In this case, let's use my name as the topic at which the messages will be published. We also need to specify the payload. And there are uh, multiple quality of services which are defined in as part of the MQTT protocol. There are mainly three types of quality of service which is 0, 1 and 2 which correspond to at least once, at most once and exactly once QoS which is the quality of service. For our use case we will just use at least once QoS and now the message has been built. Now before publishing we'll just make a simple check whether client is connected or not. In case the client is connected then only we will be publishing the message. So in order to await this, we will change the signature of this method as well. Hmm. So as soon as the message has been published, we will await this message method as well. As soon as the message has been published, we will disconnect the client. Now we have our publisher ready. Now we will start working towards creating a sub subscriber. For creating a subscriber, we will again go ahead and create a new console project. We'll call it MQTT subscriber. Similarly, we'll have to install the MQTT net package in this project as well. Now it's installed and similarly we will rename the 
program class to subscriber and uh, and in the interest of time i'll just copy paste this code till publish here i'll have to remove this and in the end here as well similarly we will be disconnecting the client control dot options changing the method signature okay so in order to subscribe we will do one additional thing as soon as this client dot connect async happens and it gets connected to this particular address we will start subscribing to a particular topic for which we need to build a topic builder new topic filter builder we need to build it but before building this we also need to specify the topic and in this case since we are publishing at the topic called rishabh sharma now we can subscribe to the topic now since this is an asynchronous call we need to define this as async so that we can await on this call now this is ready now we also need to specify an event handler in case we receive a message for this we will use application message receive handler in case we receive a message we will just simply print that received message on the console in this particular case the payload will be a byte array which we need to again converted back to string so now whenever we receive a message it will be printed here so let's try to run both the projects at once so we'll go to setting the startup projects we'll go and set both to start at once and uh, in our case we will start subscriber before the publisher let's run the project in the debug mode so this is the publisher this is the subscriber both have been connected successfully if i try to publish a message here we received a message there we can also print at the publishers end on the console whenever we publish a message keep a break point here before the publisher gets disconnected so as soon as i publish a message you can see it shows published message hello and at the subscriber end we have received a message called hello so this is how a publisher and subscriber will communicate with each other with the help of a broker and this is where we have also used the mqtt protocol behind the scenes 
using the MQTT net client library. Thank you.